Today I'm making a turkey and pumpkin pate, which is one of my go-to recipes for my cats. This easy homemade cat food recipe makes five to six days of food for the average cat. It costs the same or less than many commercial and premium cat foods out there, and it's not laden with byproducts, chemicals, or ingredients that are unfit for human consumption. I'll go through my recipe blueprint with you and show you how you can modify it to make variety for your cats and make some delicious recipes when we get back. So my recipes follow a basic blueprint. So you choose your meat, and any ground meat or even if your cat likes chunky meat, you can cut the meat into little strips. But I have a one pound of ground 85% uh, turkey here that I'm going to use. And then I always um, lightly cook it in two tablespoons of coconut oil. And then your optional ingredients include egg. Um, here I have two eggs. Per each recipe, you have the option of adding one to two eggs. Um, I really like eggs because they're a complete protein, it's easily digested, and it has a great price point for protein. So um, then other optional add-ins, this is pumpkin. Um, you can add two to four tablespoons of pumpkin or greens or squash, some carrot, um, kale, parsley diced up. Um, believe it or not, cats really do like some greens added, and uh, you could even add a little bit of catnip if you'd like, um, just something to delight them. If your cat's not used to that and you wanna introduce them to that idea, I would suggest you just do a very gradual amount. Like this is for closer to four tablespoons, maybe you wanna start with two. So um, the other option is you can add water or bone broth. This is bone broth that I make. Um, every week I roast a chicken and then I turn around and turn it into some bone broth so that way I can avoid adding extra salt to it. I can avoid garlic powder, onion powder, which isn't good for cats. So those are your options. And then um, each recipe is balanced with your calcium, vitamins, minerals, taurine um, to, uh, oh, and this also has uh, grass-fed beef organ meat in here. So you can not have to deal with organ meat, but it's packed with nutrients. So. Um, this is the feline premix. I have a senior premix, which also has um, added B vitamins and fiber. You might want to do that if your cat is, say, over six or so. But even a younger cat can eat that. I have a multi-cat household, so I just use the senior premix because it just has added B vitamins, which everybody can benefit from, and a little extra fiber as well. Um, and then your other option is your omega-3s. I'm going to use my Icelandic blend omega-3s. You could use a tin of sardines in water or uh, some mackerel, like a half of a 15 ounce can of mackerel in water. You could use some salmon. That's all outlined in the cookbook, but here is a, a visual graphic for you to refer to so that you can uh, sort out how the recipe is um, broken down so it's a little clearer, but it's all explained in the cookbook as well. So again, here's the graphic. You can see that your your protein is your number one choice. You're going to add your coconut oil to all recipes to lightly cook it. Um, you're also going to need to choose optional add-ins like the eggs. Are you gonna add eggs or not? Um, one to two. Are you going to add some greens? Are you gonna add carrot, um, some squash? And then lastly, are you gonna use water or bone broth? So those are your, your basic options. And then you can go ahead to creating your recipe. Okay, so add our coconut oil. We are going to add our one pound of turkey. We're towards the end, so I'm going to go ahead and add my optional two eggs. I really like adding eggs to my recipe because they're just, again, a quality source of economical, easily digested protein. So there they go. It's at the end of the recipe. So the meat is almost done. So we're going to finish the last few minutes with the egg in there. Okay, so now we are ready to add our water bone broth. In this case, this is chilled. So it's going to cool my recipe down fast so that I can add my nutrients. I'm going to also add my pumpkin. 
I love adding pumpkin to my recipes. It's a great source of fiber. Also, it's got the soluble and insoluble fiber. So paradoxically, it helps with both loose stools and constipation. It also provides, you know, healthy fiber, prebiotic fiber for a healthy microbiome. Got It's also got vitamin A, C, and antioxidants. So it's nutrient dense, packed with all the good things without all the calories. So it gives a sense of fullness for those that are always hungry. Yay for the inactive felines prone to hairball and again, it's just a good fiber source. Okay, so I'm going to add my premix. Again, the premix contains your calcium, your trace minerals, vitamins, taurine, and grass-fed organ meat. When I first started making my own cat food, I was adding my own organ meat, which I really did not enjoy. And I feel like if I don't want to do it, it's hard to ask other people to do it. So I found a great source of New Zealand grass-fed organ meat, uh, beef heart, liver, and kidney. And lastly, our Icelandic omega-3s, half a teaspoon. I'm going to add that. Mix it in, good. Now when you refrigerate this, it's going to solidify. So, or, or it'll it'll be a little thicker. So if you wanted like a chunky uh, food, you could make it more chunky. My cat's like a pate, so I'm gonna use this Cuisinart Smart Stick. So I know this looks quite liquidy, but actually when you refrigerate it, it will turn into a thick pate. So remember, a lot of the cat food out there that you buy at the grocery store is, you know, 80% water. You're paying for water, so why not make your own with quality ingredients? Hit that like and subscribe button if you found this video helpful, and please consider sharing it with your friends.